Do you like shellfish? Of course, when we talk about prawns, lingoustines or lobsters we often think of these fine and delicate delicacies that are highly prized by gourmets. But, far from gastronomy, did you know that there are species of shellfish that are much more formidable than the tasty grilled shrimps? Well, today we're going to discover the spider crab, the gun shrimp and many other species that will certainly not make your mouth water. Make yourself comfortable because these are the most dangerous crustaceans in the world. Let's start. This small shrimp, measuring barely 3 to 5 centimeters, is one of the most formidable crustaceans on the planet. It can be found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and in the Mediterranean Sea. It is a carnivorous crustacean that feeds mainly on other shrimp, small fish or crabs. Its main characteristic is the presence of a large claw that measures nearly half its size and allows it to hunt, feed and defend itself. To hunt its prey, the pistol shrimp makes its large claw snap strongly, which then creates a water bubble that, by imploding, will produce a luminous flash and project an extremely powerful jet of water on its prey, with a speed of about 30 meters per second, or about 100 kilometers per hour. The claw serves as a pistol, designed to stun and kill prey, hence the name of this true sea cowboy. This detonation also generates a loud sound, of the order of 220 decibels, which is as powerful as that emitted by a rocket at takeoff. Besides, these shrimps would disrupt the proper functioning of sonar and other marine detection devices when they are numerous and make a lot of noise. Moreover, this crustacean can generate a very strong increase in the temperature of the water where it slams its claws, and this temperature can reach 4,700 degrees Celsius. But despite its formidable weapon, the pistol shrimp has very poor eyesight. To remedy this problem, it lives in symbiosis with a small fish, the goby, which cohabits with it in the same hole and stands guard. The pistol shrimp wouldn't be so bad if it didn't have this big claw that serves as its cannon. However, do you know what would happen to him if by some misfortune his claw was taken away? You think maybe she would lose her ferocity once she was without her gun, don't you? Well, she wouldn't. Because her other pliers, which are smaller, will grow to replace the torn pliers while a new one will grow back at her stump. It is said that the habit does not make the monk, and in the world of crustaceans, the mantis shrimp is a good example. This crustacean, also known as a multicolored squid because of its elongated, brightly colored body, is actually a formidable species. Don't be fooled by its magnificent colors as this true monster that populates the tropical seas is known for its ferocity and its powerful and extremely fast blows, with a speed of 80 km per hour, which it strikes with its front legs called kidnapping appendages. These appendages resemble folding claws like those of praying mantises, or even real clubs, depending on the species. By hitting hard, the mantis shrimp is able to break the shells of its most resistant prey, and even shatter aquarium windows. A unique specificity that would not exist in any other creature. A blow from the mantis shrimp can be likened to a rifle bullet fired from a rifle. In addition, each shot has a double impact, the mechanical impact but also the pressure waves due to the implosion of vapor bubbles that are caused by the speed of the shot. This phenomenon is called cavitation, and this speed creates a shock wave that alone can kill a prey. Nevertheless, the force of the impact is more than 1,000 times the weight of the squid. And it's not just the lightning strike that characterizes the mantis shrimp, but also its vision. Indeed, this species of crustacean has the most developed color vision in the animal kingdom. Thanks to its retina, which has 16 types of color receptor cones, whereas humans have only three, the mantis shrimp is able to distinguish 100,000 different colors. Before continuing, here is the question of the day, what is the name given to shellfish farming? Option A, aquaculture. Option B, oyster farming. Option C, carcinoculture. Choose the option that seems right to you and we will see afterwards if you answered correctly. At first glance, crayfish is nothing to be feared. It's even a very prized by the gourmet ends. However, this species known as marbled crayfish is one of the most threatening crustaceans on the planet. Its danger? Well, it is a species that is extremely invasive because it spreads very quickly and is able to reproduce without a male. Discovered only about 30 years ago in an aquarium in Germany, this crayfish species with 10 legs and 2 antennae has a unique and very special characteristic. Indeed, all the specimens that exist are female and all come from the same mother crayfish which would have inherited very particular genetic characteristics. In other words, they are in fact a huge clone population. In fact, according to a study carried out by scientists, it turned out that the entire offspring of the marbled crayfish is genetically identical. 
Every year, the marbled crayfish lays hundreds of eggs without mating, and the females that are born do the same, probably due to parthenogenesis, a form of reproduction that does not require males. Today, the marbled crayfish is spreading rapidly and spreading in some parts of the world, particularly in Europe, but also in Japan and Madagascar, and is now threatening local ecosystems and other species. Nevertheless, these crayfish that form a clone, just like cancer tumors, are now of interest to researchers who are looking at this model of study in order to be able to further their research on cancer, and hence find a cure for this disease. This creature, which only has a scientific name, is the first venomous crustacean that was discovered, and probably the only venomous crustacean species known in the world. It is in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, more precisely in the underground caves and ankylines where the water is fresh on the surface and becomes salty at depth, that this crustacean of the family of the Remipeds lives. A carnivorous creature, blind and difficult to observe, Speleonectes tulumensis is nevertheless a tiny crustacean measuring no more than a few millimeters. Its eyeless head has appendages resembling hypodermic needles, which are used to inject venom into its prey. This venom, rich in peptidases, enzymes involved in digestion, also contains a toxin that could paralyze the prey. Unlike to what you might think, this little crustacean doesn't contain any real blood. It owes its appearance to the environment in which it lives, a few meters deep under the sand or mud, in the Indo-Pacific region. These crustaceans, which the Chinese in particular are very fond of, are among the species that can constitute a real danger to the health of those who consumes them. Indeed, because of the environment in which they live, these species are a real concentrate of viruses and bacteria such as the hepatitis A and E viruses, the bacteria responsible for typhoid or the one that causes dysentery. This is why, before eating blood clams, they must be cooked well in boiling water to kill any pathogenic germs that may be present. Also known as the Shanghai hairy crab or mitten crab, the Chinese crab is, as its name suggests, a species of crab native to China, but also found in Europe and North America where it lives in very shallow fresh water and in large estuaries. It only returns to the sea to reproduce. This light brown crab has an almost square shell that can be up to 9 cm wide and has slightly hairy legs. In the male, however, the claws are covered with hair on the palms. Vegetarian and then carnivorous as adults, crabs become true predators. But that's not their real danger. In fact, this species of crab causes real environmental damage when it multiplies in certain areas. It can also cause serious health problems for humans. Actually, Chinese crabs can harbor potentially pathogenic viruses and bacteria, as well as parasites such as sea mites or halicarids that live in the hairs of their claws. They can also carry the oriental lung fluke, a parasitic worm that lives permanently in the human body if humans eat the crab. For this reason, eating raw or undercooked Chinese crab can be dangerous to health because it can cause dystomatosis, a parasitic disease, in the lungs. Also called Macrochira kempferi, the giant Japanese spider crab is the largest arthropod in the world. It is a species that can live up to 100 years and feeds mainly on crustaceans, mollusks and animal carcasses. It lives mainly in the Pacific Ocean, particularly in the waters off the coasts of Japan and Taiwan, at depths of 50 to 600 meters. This crab is quite impressive in size, with a body 30 centimeters wide and weighing up to 20 kg. However, it is mainly its legs that give the Japanese spider crab its frightening appearance. As its name suggests, this monster looks like a big spider because of its long legs that continue to grow even after adulthood to reach up to 3.5 meters in length. However, these legs are very fragile and can easily break off. Moreover, with the exception of the first pair, they are generally free of pincers. On the other hand, despite its impressive appearance, this crab is edible. It is often fished on a small scale for its meat, which is a delicious and very popular dish in Japanese cuisine. The coconut crab is the largest terrestrial arthropod in the world. It can have a wingspan of up to 1 meter and weigh up to 4 kilogram. It is a nocturnal and solitary species that lives in burrows that it digs in the sand or other not very hard soil, and is able to climb easily up the trunks of coconut trees, but it can also enter homes to steal objects that may be food for it, which has earned it the name, thief crab. It is also an animal with half pulmonary, half branch respiration, and a thick, armor-like shell. However, what characterizes this crab and makes it fearsome is its incredible grip. Indeed, the claws of this crab possess an impressive strength that would be equivalent to the bite of a good number of land predators. 
It can use them to break things or even to fight with other animals. According to estimates made by some researchers, its strength could even reach 3,300 newtons. Can you imagine that? So, it's not surprising to see this crab easily carving coconuts or even small crabs. If one day you come face to face with a coconut crab, be very careful with your fingers. You have just discovered the most dangerous crustaceans in the world. Do you know of other species as dangerous as these? Leave us your answer in the comments. And for the question of the day, if you chose carcinoculture, you answered correctly.